Hello everyone, Treeks here. Welcome back to Mega Man 5. We're closing in on the end when it comes to my uh, coverage of all the Game Boy Mega Man games. Five of them we needed to do. This is hopefully going to be the final weekend. Last time we actually took care of the first two Robot Masters in the second phase of this game. Actually did miss out on the first crystal. However, I actually found out in the meantime I also technically did not miss out on it, because I simply did not have the weapon in order to get it yet. <laughs> I actually did find out where it was. And therefore, um, yeah, I needed to come back anyway. It did not matter a whole lot. <laughs> Time for us to actually continue with Jupiter. I do actually plan on making this my final weekend for Mega Man Game Boy. And therefore, I do want to get started right away. <laughs> Jupiter is up next. So... Let's get started. I have one stock, so I'm not going to game over myself. I will simply try. Oh, nice. It's low gravity here. That is something Mega Man games should be playing around with a bit more. <laughs> not saying too much about the future. <laughs> because this is going to mean the end of the classical Mega Man series, of course. The moment we are done with this game. We are close. But not close enough. There's still plenty of work to do. <laughs> Right, long jump. Easily done. Because of the low graph. <laughs> right. There are way too many stages where these guys are actually a thing. <laughs> you guys belong in Magnet Man stage, come on. And that is a Robot Master we've already dealt with a long time ago. <laughs> At least it feels like a really long time ago. <laughs> you know what I mean. Ow. I'm not sure what you're supposed to be, but I don't like you. <laughs> Ooh, nice. P-Chip's also flying around in low graph. <laughs> okay, now we go indoors. As you can see, indoors, it's regular gravity. Ow. I was explaining things. There's no need for you to actually hit me while I do that. <laughs> Stupid robot. Alright, what are you? More electricity. Well, it's pretty clear that electricity and magnets and stuff like that. And that is clearly the theme of this stage. A lot of enemies that actually um, shoot around electricity. As if these guys actually have the wave beam. As if these guys know that I'm playing Metroid Prime uh, simultaneously with these projects. <laughs> there are some similarities, of course, between Mega Man and Metroid. They're both shooters, first of all. 2D uh, platforming shooters. Most of the time. Metroid Prime is of course not one. <laughs> that one is a first person one. In 3D. Alright, are you done? And I'd like to actually get that small energy tank. An energy heal. And even some extra. Nice. Almost full health again. Moving back outside. And therefore low grab actually returns. Two mega arms. And these guys are actually gone. Fully charged, of course. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's even going to be three. Don't even need the health. That is how nice the game has been for me. With the healing. Bam. I love how everything flies around uh, in the low gravity. <laughs> they do fall at regular speeds, but they actually get flinked up a lot more. Also giving it a cool effect. More of these bouncing dudes. At least these guys die in one mega arm. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of stuff. Could actually use my newly acquired power in order to grab these. However, the lazy method is to actually use your item grabber. Not sure if it's going to work for this small energy tank, though, because I need to time that correctly while falling, by the looks of it. It's a bit difficult. <laughs> oh, come on. It should work. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Next time I'll still grab my uh, deep digger. That way it looks a bit less awesome whenever you grab the items, but at least it will be faster. <laughs> at least assuming you're not going to get your items first try whenever using the item grabber. But as you can see, definitely still possible. It's pretty 
be slippery here. More small energy tanks. The game is way too nice to me. <laughs> now speaking of um, game being nice, hopefully we're going to be finding the crystal in this stage as well. It might actually be the case that we need the power up from Saturn in order to reach it, but I doubt we actually need that because. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be a type of block that we can actually only destroy with that weapon, so... <laughs> I'm going to assume, therefore, that we're actually good. It might actually make use of the Pluto weapon or the Uranus weapon. Something that's actually also the case in the Pluto stage, so... <laughs> in case you were wondering, we indeed also need to deep digger there in order to grab the crystal. However, actually did not bother to look where the other two crystals are. I have a hunch we're going to find it right over here because this is a split pathway and I think the ladder is not going to be continuation or it might actually oh huh things actually look different just now <laughs> yeah this has to be it okay this is weird to the left perhaps Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at what we have here. <laughs> the game once again wants me to use the deep digger here, it looks like. But I'm actually going to be stubborn and I'm still going to use my item grabber. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I don't have to actually show off the deep digger. I'm going to be doing that in the Pluto stage anyway, the moment I return there. Because, yes, that one we could only grab with the deep digger. Let's go leave again. This is going to waste too much time. Wasting way too much time here. Ow. Also way too much health. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to kill this guy. Slippery ice here is going to make it difficult anyway. And the chances of him dropping energy is not very big anyway. <laughs> not going to risk losing even more. Here we have some big energy. Which is definitely needed in phase 2, because just like always, here our items actually do not charge automatically after clearing a stage. If that was not obvious. <laughs> oh. Bad timing. Oh, come on. I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> Speaking of being an idiot, let's go in without healing. So Jupiter here can actually kill me right away. <laughs> I could actually still try. Ooh, awesome. That is power up I want. <laughs> let's see how far I can actually get before he kills me. And I'm going to laugh if I'm able to beat him without being hit. <laughs> but never mind. It is already over. Like I explained last time, Jupiter is one of the bosses that is weak against an old weapon from the first phase. So, let's go equip our bubbles. And try to um, bubble him to death. <laughs> is bubble a verb? <laughs> it does not matter with me. I also made half pipe a verb in the Metroid Let's Play, so... <laughs> now, all of all, this guy shouldn't be too difficult to actually beat. Most of the time he's going to stay up there, as you can see. Sometimes does swoop down, but um, yeah. As you can see, I have pretty much all of my health left, and I did not really do it too well, in all honesty. So <laughs> this guy's just easy. Let's go see what he will actually give us. Hopefully, that uh, super awesome move that he just did. But uh, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> it's going to be a bit more simple than that. But trust me, it is still going to be pretty amazing to watch. Because Megamon will actually attack enemies like this now. And it is called the Electric Shock. Biggest downside of this attack is the fact that it does not have a whole lot of range. You're not able to actually shoot a projectile with this, so... <laughs> In that sense, it is not per se the most optimal one. But it is definitely cool to use. Hopefully there's going to be a boss weak against it later on. 
And that might actually be a bit quicker than you may expect. Because we don't always take the weapon we just got and use it against the next one. But this time around we will. <laughs> Let's go to Saturn and take him out with the electric shock. The final robot master in the classic Mega Man games. At least if you don't count Terra. He's of course also still a thing. We'll be worrying about him later. Oh, we're going to be playing around with um, different kinds of Gs again this time around, I see. I can of course explain how this works in the time that this guy actually needs to kill me. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. <laughs> as you can see, we have half G, where we're going to be jumping twice as high and falling twice as slow. Because of having half G. Of course, the opposite will also appear in this stage, 2G, where we're going to be twice as heavy and therefore are not able to jump very high anymore, but also fall a lot faster. The game is going to be playing around with that in this stage. In the previous stage, we had to deal with low gravity every once in a while. This time around, it is alternating gravity. <laughs> well, give you the P chip. Oh. Well, at least you dropped another one. <laughs> Yeah, here it is, as you can see, 2G. So we're not able to jump high anymore. We are still able to receive one-ups, of course. <laughs> but yeah, that is basically how this works, as you can see. You can expect a lot of playing around with that aspect. These enemies are also able to actually um, adjust the gravity, as you can see. But it will actually run out the moment they die. And speaking of dying, I need to kill myself if I don't get this area. Because yes, I was pretty sure this was going to be for the crystal. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to use my item grabber once again. I refused to actually use the deep digger earlier than in the Pluto stage. <laughs> and hopefully we're also going to be able to um, fetch ourselves the auto charge after that. We are getting plenty of P-chips in these um, final couple of stages. So hopefully we're going to be good for that. Remember, just like in Mega Man 4, there is going to be a point of no return when it comes to the item shop. At some point, we're going to be uh, leaving Dr. Light's area, and therefore, we're not also going to be able to buy stuff from him. I'm pretty sure that's going to be after this stage, the moment we actually um, visit Terra for the second time. Then we are going to be locked out of the shop, so make sure you've done your business before that. But I've still got plenty of chances. <laughs> this stage, and of course, the second time I'm going to be playing the Pluto stage. I will, of course, be cutting out most of it, because we've already seen it, <laughs> with the exception of the crystal. And therefore, I'm going to be playing that stage off-screen, mostly. But uh, even off-screen, it does give me the chance to get a couple more P-chips if I don't have enough. <laughs> but we'll see that in a minute. I still want my 100%, of course, in this game, so I'm still going to be doing that. I could also say, does not matter. Who cares about that item? We can also still beat the game uh, normally. We've never actually had an item that cut our energy consumption in half. We were still able to beat Wily every single time. <laughs> Even though we're not facing Wily this time around. <laughs> but so far, all of the Mega Man games at least, we have been able to beat the game normally just fine. We can easily say I don't care about an item that actually cuts our energy consumption in half. <laughs> However, there's also the matter of 100%. For that reason, I still want to do it, of course. Thank you, Eddie. You gave me something useless again. <laughs> Next time I'm going to kill you if you try to screw with me again. <laughs> if only I was able to. But there's no friendly fire in this game. <laughs> or any Mega Man games. For that we need to play stuff like Battle Network games. <laughs> We're not going to be worrying about stuff like that in here. Oh. Oh, let's first take care of you. Which you're going to be annoying. <laughs> Come on, go down. I know you can, so I'm going to wait for it. <laughs> I could also go up, I know. Oh, of course it respawns. You know what? I'll go up. You're actually testing my patience. <laughs> that is something I don't want you to do. I can do that just fine on my own, testing my patience. <laughs> Hopefully also found another checkpoint in the meantime. Usually stages like these actually have two checkpoints before we um, get to the boss, which also counts as a checkpoint, by the way. <laughs> as you may know. Oh. Need to be careful here. 
Right, the double G is a bit easier. But here. Ooh. Yeah. Definitely don't press the jump button fully there. <laughs> Even slightly tapping it already almost made me go into the spikes. So definitely be careful there. But with that, we should be there. Because I can remember this being the final part. Somehow this stage actually did look similar to me. <laughs> Even though it has been a pretty long time since I last played this, I know. But it's not like I've forgotten. Some pieces I still remember. Like Saturn, who's of course going to be making use of rings. <laughs> what else did you expect? And we're going to be making use of the electric shock. This guy's pretty fast, so be careful. Oh, and the ring is also a black hole. <laughs> or at least something like that. <laughs> it's pulling us in. <laughs> Bye, sir. Yeah, with the electric shock, this guy is definitely not impressive. <laughs> Can't help it. Still don't beat you with that weapon. I can, and therefore I will. <laughs> Let's go bring it on. The final Robot Master upgrade here on the Game Boy. Before we can actually start focusing on the final unique Robot Master, Terra. This is what Saturn will actually give us. Very impressive! The black hole! That is indeed what it is called! <laughs> As if I knew that! <laughs> oh, and finally we get Rush Jet. Took you long enough. <laughs> well, normally I would say time for Terra. But there's one other thing I still need to take care of. Before we actually do, time for some shopping. Because I want to buy an awesome unique item, of course. These two we already have. I'm not going to care about you. Um, this one, of course, the auto charge. Should have enough. It was 150 in the previous game. It should actually also be in this one. Oh, it's even 140 in this game. <laughs> Did you lower the price, Dr. Light? <laughs> Or is there a discount? <laughs> well, did not matter. Even 150 would have been enough. I also had that. But this way, it also works, I guess. Even have a couple left. So, Terra. I would actually say we are ready for you, but we are actually not. <laughs> I will quickly go into this stage, move my way towards the secret area where the crystal is going to be hidden. And I will see you folks in a minute, because of course I will be cutting. <laughs> Alright, here we are. And this is the room. If you look closely, I'm pretty sure you can already see it. I'm actually surprised I did not see it the first time through. <laughs> but later I found out it actually did not matter, because I did not have the item needed in order to actually get rid of these rocks. Like this. Uranus's weapon was actually required. <laughs> And since the crystal that was actually in Uranus' stage required the item from this stage, there's no way to actually do this in one run. You need to come back to one of those two stages anyway. <laughs> but this way it also works, I guess. But the let's play does not matter. We have the magic of cutting, after all, when it comes to videos, so... <laughs> but here is the final crystal, which will actually give us a unique item the moment we actually finish the stage. We already know what it's going to do, because Dr. Light was uh, kind enough to actually spoil that for us. <laughs> An item which will actually make sure we only use half of the weapon energy we normally need to use the moment we use an item that requires weapon energy. Sounds awesome. Now, time for us to actually finish the stage and go talk to Dr. Light yet again. <laughs> Alright, and we are here. No Robot Master, of course. That one's already taken care of. <laughs> We were only here for the missing crystal. Time for us to actually deliver it to the good doctor. Hopefully it's not going to be too expensive, because I'm not too sure if it's going to be for free. It should be actually, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> this is going to be it. New item in the shop. Made from the four crystal we brought back, we know. The power generator will reduce the amount of energy your special weapons use by half. Yeah. Indeed, I remembered correctly. No P-chips required. <laughs> Collecting the crystals was already enough work. And this one is for free. 
Let's go equip it. So, now the end of the game is going to be easy for us, hopefully. All of the bosses we're going to meet, including the final bosses, including Terra. All of the weapons they're weak against. We can actually spam that all we want. Because the chances of running out is going to be a lot less. Hopefully, at least. <laughs> we'll see how that actually works out in the next episode. Because just like in Phase 1, as you can see, now the pathway opens up to Terra yet again. Are we able to face him now? Or is he going to send another lackey towards us first? Before we actually get the chance to face him. And prove that we are indeed able to take this most powerful robot we have faced so far in our career. <laughs> Hopefully, now we are able to take him down. Next time is going to be when we find out. I will see you folks then. And for now, it is going to be Treeks out.